hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys a heatless curls tutorial and i'm starting off with some clean hair just applying a hair serum and brushing through it letting it air dry all the way through so what i'm going to do is section my hair so i can start brushing it out as gently as possible we look crazy already but it's only going to get worse from here so it's okay you guys I have been really loving Station 19. If y'all haven't seen that, it's basically the spinoff of Grey's Anatomy and it has Warren in it, Benjamin Warren, Bailey's husband. And it is so good. I am obsessed with it right now. By the way, this is what I use. All right, guys, I changed my shirt because I wasn't loving the gray. I'm gonna be doing one side at a time. So in the meantime, I'm gonna tie this little part up. And sorry if you guys hear my dog squeaking his toy. All right, so we're gonna wet it. Not a lot, just making it damp. Want it wet enough where it'll do something and you don't want it too wet where it'll stay wet in the morning. If you guys have like a little claw clip and you can clip it here, that'd be so much easier, but I don't. So I'm just going to tie this section right on here. So it won't move as much. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray a little bit. I'm going to grab a brush, brush it upwards. You're going to tightly bring it across. Here's the hair that we just brought under the rod. You're going to grab another section. And I like to work in tiny sections. as like I have fine hair. So I'm brushing it and then bringing it under, keeping it straight back here and over. So I do that about three times before I start to switch it up, just to get a good grip in the beginning. Once I do that one more time, I'm just about to do the same thing I did on the last two sections, but here's where I'm gonna switch it up. So I'm holding it down here with these two fingers, I'm holding it. I'm going to be grabbing another tiny section of hair and joining it along with this one separating it from the rest bringing it under so here's that section i grabbed from back here i'm bringing it under grabbing another tiny section of hair and blending it in all together i'm really hoping i'm explaining this okay kind of like a french braid where you continue to add in more hair but i'm also adding it in from the back so here's the hair i just grabbed with these two little fingers i'm going to pinch the hair i already had Grabbing hair from back here. Grabbing hair from back here. Joining it in with this one. Bringing it around. Grabbing a little tiny section. Blending it together. Or you can just not even grab another section. Just smooth it over and put it back. If that makes sense. I'll show you guys a couple more times. So now that I smoothed it over, I'm going to grab it, pinch it. Grab another section of hair back here. Join it in with this one. Bring it around. Smoothing it over. And you guys don't have to do it this way. You could do it the easier way, which is just grabbing all these like sections over here and just bringing it over and under, over and under. But the reason I like to grab hair from back here is because I find that it gives me more curls and more volume. I think it curls this back section a little bit better. And I saw that on a sheet, on a YouTube short one time and it inspired me. So you can like smooth that over, but I just like to go ahead and just grab some hair. Apply it in there. Grab another little section. And if it starts to get dry, just wet it a little bit. Move it over. And just do that until I reach the end of my hair. And you just twist it around and around and around. And then with a scrunchie, you just basically hold it, wrap the scrunchie around once or twice, hold it again. And it's nice and secure. So 
I'm going to repeat that on the other side. I'm going to wet this side a little bit. Smoothing the water in. grabbing another section over here I'm just going to right a little bit under grabbing more hair pulling back all right so there we go everything's in there and i do like to spread it around just a little bit to make sure all the hairs are nice and in there I'm grabbing this side, twisting it, and holding it right here, and then I'm grabbing this other section and pulling it tighter. Everything stays in there. Bringing it back around. And tying it together. Okay, so I'm going to take this side. So I do that, and then obviously it's not like the most comfortable to sleep in, but it's decently comfortable and i'm gonna go to sleep all right guys so i just got done doing my makeup sorry y'all my nephew's playing the drums but now i'm going to take this out and show you guys the results all right so excited so i'm gonna show you so i just unravel it and the way that this was like this last night it made sleep way easier and just take off the scrunchie Kind of like that. I'm looking crazy. Slowly run my fingers through it, separating the curls. And I shake it out all the way from the roots and then just sort of organize it. <laughs> Basically, I just play with it until I like how it looks. And the thing about it, even if it messes up, it's really like moldable. So I just grab another piece and I just retwist it like that. To smooth it all over, I'm grabbing this um, anti-breakage serum. Just running it through my whole hair and smelling good. Can you all see that? It's so easy to mold and form. That's why I'm like rough with it because I know it's just gonna bounce back into the form. So that's why I'm not like so careful about roughing it up too much because it's so easy to just bring back even after I did all of that to it. If it's a little bit frizzy, I can just retwist it like that. I just find this way to be a lot easier than doing it when your hair is soaking wet because I remember so many times that I would try this and do it when my hair was wet, almost like 50% dry and I would just put in the curling rod and I would be so excited to see my results and then in the morning I would just have like soaking wet hair. Because I do have curly hair, it would just curl back into like my natural curl pattern which I just wasn't going for that look so this is like the look that I was going for really big and juicy curls you get to go for that like viral 90s poofy hair big like, blowout curls with no heat and i think that's awesome and to be able to do this on natural hair is a plus so for the first one basically set aside a little section of hair i'm going to grab a section on top and a section right here grabbing a hairbrush I'm just trying to keep this middle part so I'm just like bringing it around and over and then just grabbing a scrunchie or a rubber band whatever you prefer I like scrunchies because they give you a little bit more volume I'm tightening this here letting these two curls down so this is a really cute hairstyle if you're going for something a little bit more formal. Um, it's super cute because it's definitely high volume. Like you see this huge curl, it has a tendency to bunch up together. So to make your hair look a little bit more full, just go ahead and separate it. All 
All right, moving on to the next hairstyle. All right, so for this next hairstyle, we're going to grab, so this is basically like a two-parter, but we're going to grab this section of hair and brush it down. And you can do a bigger section or anything like that. I'm going to brush it down, grabbing a couple of bobby pins. I'm going to leave this, this section right above like where your ear is, which is right here. And leave it out and pin it right under the ear. And then I'm going to grab an equal section on the other side. Brushing it down. Leaving this part of the curl right there. I have a lot of baby hair, so just try to collect those. But I'm just going to bring it under the ear and bobby pin it down. And then I'm grabbing this little kind of like an edge brush. And just brushing it down. This is like a nice look if you still want something that looks nice and full, but you just kind of want your hair out of your face, so. It just looks like that. But yeah, I just like this. It's just kind of like very subtle, but you still put a little bit of effort into your hairstyle. For this next hairstyle, we are going to leave two little pieces out because I just love the pieces out. I actually love the hair on my face because I feel like it frames it a little bit better. Basically, I'm just grabbing a tiny section, just pinning it up like this. And then I'm just repeating that on the other side. All right, so yeah, you just repeat that on one side and just retwist the curls that you don't think are looking too defined. So yeah, this is like a nice little look. This is like a little hairstyle that I would wear when I was younger. And now I'm 21, but it's okay, because if you think it's cute, that's all that matters. Cute. I like it. If it loses like the volume, you just shake it out again. I will link this down below. I love this one. It's in my favorite color, which is baby pink. <laughs> and I will link it down below. It's super cheap. I think it's like less than $10. And yes, you guys, I love this hairstyle because it is so simple to do. Wrapping it tonight is gonna be a lot easier because um, I just need my hair a very little bit and wrap it again. And then you just do that until you feel like you need to wash your hair. So it's also a nice way of having a nice hairstyle so you don't have to wash your hair as often and I have to sneeze. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys. So I really hope that you like this video. I had a lot of fun making it and I really hope that it works for you. If you try it, let me know how you liked it. But once again, thank you so much for watching this video, for all your support, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.